Launch conditions as of 0530 are optimal. Final checks underway, recovery craft in position. How are the CRC numbers? Mid-30s and holding. Meteorology's got some hiccup to checking out. <sighs> See our latest press? Childhood friends out to prove a theory. Can a manned spacecraft overcome atmospheric friction and exponentially increase its speed using only a planet's natural gravitational pull, huh? Man, what is wrong with you? DK, you know that feeling you get the night before something big is about to happen in your life? You know, it, it's the night before we graduated high school. It's the night before we started this job. Well, I had that feeling last night in quarantine. This experiment that important to you? Uh oh, one small step, but. Hey, DK. Sir? Well, you're looking pretty sharp there, Commander Crichton. Thanks, Dad. Let's do this thing. I, uh, I talked to Pete Maxwell and the others at Control. <laughs> They're gonna take real good care of you while you're up there. I heard that you uh, you went AWOL from the rat cage this morning. <laughs> Man, in my day, if I'd ever broken quarantine like that, they would have. Son, you got rattlers in your stomach? Uh, I've been up on the shuttle before, Dad. Twice. <laughs> Didn't matter how many times I went up. Every time, rattlers. First EVA, first time I walked on the moon. I'm not going EVA, Dad. I'm not walking on the moon. I'm just running a little experiment. Yeah, an experiment to prove your own theory. You have any idea how proud that makes me? That's something I never did. I mean, the guys in the button-down collars and the neckties, they got to use their brains. The only thing I ever got to use was the... Guts and the seat of my flight suit. Son, I can't help being who I am, who I was. It's not who you are, Dad. I love who you are. It's being son of who you are. <laughs> Look, I... I can't be your kind of hero. No, you can't be. But each man gets a chance to be his own kind of hero. Your time will come, and when it does, watch out. Chances are it'll be the last thing you ever expected. I oh, know. That's your good luck charm. Yuri Gagarin gave you that. Oh, listen, you hang on to it. You give it back to me tonight, OK? press. At 2614 on the flight clock, we begin the major experiment of this shuttle mission. Commander John Crichton will pilot a craft of his own design in a dangerous attempt to use our planet's gravity as a speed booster, slingshotting him off into space at previously unrecorded speeds. If successful, the results are anticipated as the first concrete step toward interstellar travel. Canaveral, this is Farscape 1. I am free and flying. Are you with me there, Mama Bear? Oh, yeah, Farscape. I'm reading you loud and clear. Authorizing flight computer to initiate acceleration sequencing now. Roger, Farscape. You are go for insertion procedure. Approaching maximum velocity in 21 seconds. 18 seconds. Entering critical apogee phase. Farscape one, hold a moment. Oh, Canaveral what? Meteorology report some kind of electromagnetic wave. Repeat some kind of wave. John, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. What are we talking about? Canaveral. John, abort. Canaveral. Son, you have to abort. Abort. 
Abort now! Escape one. I'm okay. Repeat, I'm okay. <laughs> hey, did you guys get video through all that? Get out, bro. DK? Dad? Where are you guys? Where's.
John. John. You know how Luxons can be. Your ship. What kind is it? Your ship appeared from nowhere, and we don't know that technology. Is it something we can use to escape? We brought you aboard for one reason. Tell us, or die with us. Pirate! I demand you give me maneuverability now! Pilots! There is nothing I can do. Not while the control collar is still in place. Boy, I can't withstand this assault much longer. Those synapses that you are tearing out are not wired to the control collar. But I shall keep pulling until I find the ones that are. Get out of the way! The others, where are they? There are no others. I've checked every cell level. I found a manifest. We were scheduled for transfer to Terran Ra. That is a lifeless colony. Prisoner. You escape, prisoner? I will not be taken prisoner again. They brought you on board, didn't they? Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'll look after you now. You look after me later. <laughs> Hull integrity is reaching critical compromise. Did you mean my cousin? What have you done? What do you mean? The coding wall, it's dimming. I've hit the code. I've hit the code. The control collar is coming off. Starbursts. Moyak has been restrained so long. She's a Leviathan. It is a single defensive maneuver that she is capable of. Terminate assault. All prowlers terminate assault. Floor on to something, people! Prepare for Starburst! <laughs> Captain Crace? Yes, Lieutenant. The Prowler Squad has returned, sir. They report the Leviathan transport has escaped. One of the prisoners, the Hynerian Royal, somehow secured the key codes to the prisoners' cells and... There were casualties, sir. Two ships lost I don't care about casualties. A Leviathan transporting prisoners does not escape while in my custody. Is my brother returned yet? I'll dispatch him in the rear battle fighter to track it down. Sir? This is playback from the recon satellite monitoring the pursuit of the Leviathan. What manner of craft is that? My brother's prowler. I'm sure that he will. Status of Leviathan is We lost a second ship, sir. It was absorbed with the Leviathan when it went into Starburst. I want to see him. See him, sir. Peel back the image. I want to see who is inside. We've done it! We've 
escaped. Attention, one prowler traveled with us. Buckets radio, net it, and bring it aboard. As good as done. Pilot, does Moya know where we are? Yes, of course. We're someplace else. I'll get back to you on the specifics. At least we're free. <laughs> Is the matter with you people? <laughs> this damn Leviathan has no idea where we are. Uzo Tarzan. And you? Cardago. You are Delian. A priest. I've heard of your kind's practices. Your appetites. Such as? I've heard of something known as the, uh, sensation. I have experienced this. Not lately. Oh. Uh, well, why are you, uh... Why have you, uh... Imprisoned? Because of my home world. Even among my kind, I was something of an anarchist. Actually, I was the leading anarchist. And you? I killed a fellow soldier. My commanding officer. How old are you? Thirty cycles. Mm, you are but a boy. I am not. I am a Luxem warrior. I have seen two battle campaigns. Only two. You know Peacekeeper Coding? Yes, I spent three cycles on a maximum labor planet. Which one? Mikar 7, assigned to Peacekeeper Intellilin Interface. I was on Mikar 7. Truly? In the 93rd level, in the Kemlak mines. Why aren't you dead? I often ask myself the same question. I watched so many others die while the peacekeepers looked on. Somehow it made me stronger. Suppose the were in me became too strong not to survive. Perhaps you survived for this. This escape. I doubt it will last long enough for the peacekeepers even to note it in their log. Not the escape itself, but what we pray will be the result. Freedom. That is a very Delvian way to look at the situation. I am nothing if not a product of my upbringing. And I have mine. Then perhaps together a warrior and a priest can help save each other. Please, let it all be a dream. A very bad, very twisted dream. I'm Rigel the 16th, dominar to over 600 billion people. I don't need to talk to you. I thought you were a prisoner. Falsely imprisoned. My cousin Bishan stole my throne from me while I slept. 
A mistake I will soon be correcting. Your garments were removed so that we could examine you. Examine? Examine me? How? W where? W Wait a minute, one of those, those mechanical things of yours injected me right here. Translator microbes. Microbes? They colonize at the base of the brain, allow us to understand each other. Why you weren't injected at birth, I cannot fathom. Colonize? His brain is... Well, well, why have you got me locked in here? I'm... I, I, I'm not here to harm you. Hell, I wouldn't know how to harm you. We can no more trust you than we can trust that. My name's John. What is your rank and regiment? And why are you out of uniform? Rank and regiment now. Me out of here, you hyenas oh. slug. Your efforts are wasted, peacekeeper. You of all people should know that. Peacekeeper? <laughs> You're one of those out there attacking the ship. They think I'm one of you? Officer Aaron Sun, special peacekeeper commando, Icarian Company, plies our regiment. Identify yourself. My rank is commander. But I'm not military, at least not any military you know. I'm a damn scientist. It's been so long. The possessions. My blade. Hands off, Luxon. Ah, you're awake, both of you. A problem, my dear. You should be used to viewing the likes of us through bars. You need to listen to me. I'm not what you think I am. Not a peacekeeper? Yes, we know that now. You have some decidedly unfamiliar bacteria living within you. I'm from a planet called Earth. I'm human. Homo sapien sapien. It's time for us to eat. Eat what? Whoever killed my brother will pay dearly. Captain, the techs are completing the imaging of the module's pilot. Show me. On the final sweep now, sir. He's sebation. Inform the rear battle fighter. They will take charge of the Armada. We are going after the Leviathan. But, sir, a regulation... That is a direct order, Lieutenant. Look, you know I'm not a peacekeeper. How about you get this stuff off my wrists? We still do not know your loyalties. My loyalties? I just got here. You know, you're the first alien contact anybody from my planet has ever made. I mean, we dreamed about it, made movies about it but by the way what part of the universe are we in are we still in orion's arms still in the milky way <laughs> i have no idea what i'm talking about do you <laughs> i need to see some star charts get some common points of reference damn you know this ship is amazing what kind of she's a leviathan a biomechanoid a living ship <clears throat> you blame me if I hadn't pulled those wires, your precious Moya would still be wearing that control collar. But in doing so, you also caused Moya to hemorrhage most of her resentant fluid. Leading to what result, pilot? 
leading to our current maximum speed, which is barely hitch two. Moya and I don't want to return to peace. Why are they doing this? I don't believe Moya would live. Beating us. They'll need information if they're going to survive. They're hoping we'll provide it. <laughs> I'd eat if I were you. Attention. We are approaching a quotidian. That may be the only chance we get. We? The ship's pilot has just informed us that we're approaching an inhabited system with a commerce planet. A uh, commerce planet? Excellent. We need many things. Hynerian cream soap, definitely. Some fresh generated syrup to get rid of the taste of these food cubes and we need <laughs> iridescent fluid. How dare you, you lux and swine! Silence, your eminence. I've been searching for a reason not to jettison you with the next refuse dump. You dump me? I bribed the maintenance drones at the last checkpoint. I secured the cell codes that allowed for your Gentlemen. escape. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, I suggest we focus on the situation at hand. Before we approach this planet, we must know, is there peacekeeper presence in this system? I don't know. Wish I did. We are wasting time we do not have. She is infantry. Peacekeeper command tells her where to fight and die. This one? He's some kind of higher brain function deficient. How he escaped the genetic sieving process, I do not know. Rigel? What is hell? It's a perfectly natural bodily function. And it's odorless. So your loyal subjects tell you. You fart helium? Sometimes. When I'm nervous. Or angry. Attention. I thought you would want to know we are entering planetary orbit. Thank you, pilot. Expose your ignorance if you don't concede knowledge of the Hurlian Stone. One, twenty barrels of fluid. There was a time when you would have been disemboweled with a dull lesson spade for half such an insult to me. Thirty-five. Boy, was Spielberg ever wrong? Close encounters, my ass. Wormhole. I must have come here through a wormhole. I must have come here through a wormhole. Yeah. So if I did come here through a wormhole, the only way I'm going to get back is to find another wormhole. Or to create one. Yeah. Right. Ah, oh, look. You want to make one of these wormhole things of yours? How do you expect to do that from inside the cell? Come on, move faster. What are you doing? I'm gonna sabotage this ship. Sabotage? Give me a break. They haven't hurt us. How about we show them a little compassion? Compassion? What is compassion? Compassion? You're kidding, right? It's a feeling that you have when you see someone else's pain, and instead of taking advantage of their weakness, you help them. Oh, I know this feeling. Yeah, well, it is a fairly common human feeling. Mm. I hate it. You know what? I'm on the wrong team here. I'm just going to stay. Fine. Do what you want. But if you stay with these lower lives, you'll die with them. Yeah, well, how do I know I can trust you? You don't. That's just another thing you don't know. Damn! What is that? That's cutting-edge technology. We're taking mine. Captain, we are receiving a transmission from one of the outer systems. It's Aaron Sun, the Prowler pilot we thought we'd lost. She was taken captive aboard the Leviathan, but she's escaped. She has the being from the white pod with her.
I'm on another planet. Yes, pilot, understood. The female peacekeeper and the human have just escaped, and there's a full command carrier on approach to this planet. A full carrier? Grace. But it makes no sense for him to come after us himself. Unless the two who just escaped, there's something very special. This barter session is over. Trouble. We must go. Hmm, what are you asking for those well and glow? Ow! Come on. Have we laid our rendezvous point? We can get off this waste hole of a planet. That's the Leviathan's pod. They're getting away. Come on, we have to report it. Hey, are we about to be rescued any minute? I mean, what, there are no danger to us, They right? are prisoners, escaped prisoners. They must be recaptured. Or destroyed. Do not tempt me. You need to get out of here. There's a ship full of peacekeepers on its way here right now. Traitor. That is why I want you both aboard Moya as insurance. Just go before. You are such fools. I will not fall for such an ancient ruse. Fall you will, Laxon. If the Laxon gives you any trouble, kill him. Captain Grace. Name. Sir. John Crichton. And where are you from? John Crichton. Sir, he claims to be a human from a planet called Earth, but he's shown himself to be... To be what, Officer Sun? A clever imposter, an accomplice to a ship full of escaping prisoners. My brother's murderer. Brother's what? You charged my brother's prowler in that white death pot of yours. Wait a minute. You, you talking about that near miss I had the first minute I got here? That, that was an accident. There was no near miss for my brother. A human? It will require some study. I will personally enjoy pulling you apart to see what you are made of. Hey! Wait. Yes, Officer Sun. You know something about this alien? Only that I have spent time with him, sir, and I believe him when he says that what happened to your brother was an accident. I don't believe that he is brave enough or intelligent enough to attack one of our prowlers intentionally. Exactly how much time have you spent with this human? Hold, alien. Hold. Present hands. Not a lot. Not much at all. Hands now! Because, as you know, Peacekeeper High Command has very clear parameters regarding contact with unclassified alien life forms. You may have very well exceeded those parameters, Officer Soon, which no, would make sir, you I... irreversibly contaminated. No, sir, I... Take them away. Take them all away. Move. Prepare them to transit while we locate the other prisoners. Kate, now. Warrior to warrior, I vow one day I will kill you! Keep moving. Come on. Let us it coming. Your tanks are nearly full. Shouldn't be another minute or two. Any word from Dargo? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, turn around. Come on. Over there, stand still. What is this thing? It's a toy, a puzzle. You have to figure out how to take it apart and put it back together again. A bit of resourcefulness exercise. Yeah. Something like that. All right. Pull that loop through there. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Come on. Turn around. Yeah, right. Hang a bit. Now figure out how to put it back together again. What is it's this? It's a weapon, you fool. Give it here before you activate it. Now, skip. Don't do that. Let's go. Uh, you. Oh, you're late. Yeah. You're full of little yellow bolts of light.
Throw me the key. Hey. Put him on him. the ground. Down. Now. Give up now, Officer Sam. You might avoid the death sentence. Oh, unlock me, then I will unlock you. No, Tim. Come on, there isn't time. Unlock me. They are tri <laughs> If you run, you're going to have to find someone else to unlock you. Then you're going to have to explain these peacekeeper handcuffs. Give up now, Officer Sam. You might avoid the death sentence. Now unlock me. No, he is a criminal. We all are. Officer Sun, they are... Can you get me away from here? What? Can you get me off this rock, away from these over renicots, away from Christ? And we take her too. What? Never. Officer I will Sun. take you. You are manager. But she... When she stays, we all stay. No, I will not come with you. You've been irreversibly contaminated, remember? It means death. It's my duty, my breeding. Since birth, it's what I am. You can be more. Say again, pilot. It is Dargo and the arriving prowler. He is telling us to leave orbit immediately. Thank God, Helen. The peacekeeper female and then other one are with him. Can't you see he's under duress? It's a trap. Uh, I trade them in the transport hangar and... Pilot, break orbit. Destination? The uncharted territories. <sighs> we'll explain later. Your attention. Distance between the pursuing peacekeeper carrier and Moya. 60 meters and closing. They are bringing around their frag cannons. Frag cannons? What is the range of their frag cannons? I'm afraid neither Moya nor I is sufficiently conversant with peacekeeper technology. 45 metres. Let's just do another one of those starburst things. There's no time. The Leviathan must restore her energy reserves. 50 metres. I need paper. Paper? Mm, to write on. Turn the ship around. We have to... Hunt. Go back toward the planet. Go back to the planet! Frag cannons are locking off. Crichton, what are you doing? It's a theory. It has to do with overcoming atmospheric friction. Are you completely insane? Listen, we're going to have to hit a pretty exact trajectory. Can you do that? I'm doing all that I can, maintaining Moya's regular systems at the speed. Well, can this ship thing be flown manually? Manually? <laughs> yes, but there are... Good, you do it. I am not trained as a pilot. Fine. You're the experienced pilot? You fly. No. This is madness! Weapons control. Full charge. It appears our only alternative is death. What a charmer. Pilots, give me maneuverability now! We may dodge one shot, but never a full mm. Towards us, sir. She's accelerating, sir. End this now. Just go for the maximum. Let the planet's gravity pull us in. X9! Dive straight into the atmosphere. 28 to 38 degrees. You got it? Do it if you gotta do it! More speed, more speed to slingshot us out! We are there! Sir, the 
Leviathan. She's I can about see that, Lieutenant. Pull out. Pull out now. She's off our scanners, sir. We've lost her. Let go now, John. Thank you. Instinct. Good. We'll need that. Go. <clears throat> I have spent eight degrading cycles aboard this ship, and now I'm finally liberated. Congratulations. I don't know who you are, where you're from, or what you want. But if you threaten my freedom, I'll kill you. They're a brutal race, uncivilized, indiscriminate in their deployment of violence. Right. Unlike your people. My people might have helped you if you hadn't have put us into this position. Me? I don't know. Try your boy, Chris. So you haven't forgotten about him. I know he hasn't forgotten about you. Yeah, well, the uh, transparent purple guy, what's his name? Pilot? He said we've passed into the uncharted territories and that your people don't have jurisdiction. Crace thinks you killed his brother. In such a case, would you obey jurisdictional boundaries? Listen to me. If you want to live, choose your allegiances carefully. That's not to say that there's any guarantees, though. Come here. Hey, Dan. It worked. DK's in my theory. It actually worked. Sort of. Look, I know this is uh, crazy. I mean, you're never going to get this message, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm alive. Oh, hold still. Hold still. Don't know where I am. Technically, I don't know how I got here, but... I'm not going to stop trying to get home. See? You're fixed. Go play. Hmm. <clears throat> hey, what the hell are you doing? Your equipment may be worth something in trade. My equipment. It's mine. Are you a sound sleeper? And there's life out here, Dad. Weird, amazing, psychotic life. And, uh, and technicolor. Hey, Dad, you know those 
Rattlers in the stomach we talked about? Well, I got them now.